Good morning. Night. Good night. Good night. Is time for sleep? It is uh, not time for sleep. Aww. We we did that part. The sleep happened. Now the sleep is over. I see your grape is up. Grape is up. Wow. In one fell swoop, we did add. I don't know how many. A lot. A lot. A lot of emotes. Grape was the last one. Grape needed more time to cook <laughs> on Twitch's The end. grapes needed time to cook. Good morning, Jepson. Josh. Hmm. Man. Yesterday was a really good day. It was. Yesterday was a really good day. For a variety of reasons. It was like the first time we had all of the Raleigh Collective together. I think it is the first time we've ever had everyone together. You think so? Because you were like, no, we did in New Year's. No, we didn't. Josh was not here. Could have swore Josh was there. I don't think Josh was here. Josh said he wasn't there, so I, I trust that. Like, but I thought that had been it. No, I don't think we've ever... I I, th I honestly think last night was the first time all nine of us have went to a restaurant. Yes, I don't think correct. that has ever happened. But we did, because we celebrated Mal's birthday. Because your actual birthday was spent traveling slightly under duress, and then you get home, and yeah. you're like exhausted and I'm like the cat and you're like the cat and then we went to bed um, so this was like an actual thing Shane says nine people at a restaurant sounds like a pain to get seated I had emailed a restaurant that did like party reservations and I was like hey we have nine and they were like that's cool you can come in yeah you you have to make a reservation if you have nine people it's just you, you have to Absolutely. <laughs> Unless you go to like, I don't know. Golden Corral. Yeah. Golden Corral can probably seat you. Probably. It was it was it was great. Um we went back to the Ethiopian place that Mao and I had went on a date night. Yep. Um and we all got to just chill and, and talk and um at the end of the meal, the, um, I want to say it's probably the owner. Yeah. It feels very, own the owner came out and was like, would y'all like some coffee? And she was like, it's, she's like, it's, it's on the house. I just would love to make you coffee. And we're like, all right. So she made some coffee and like roasted, uh, the, the beans, the beans and like, brought them out and brought them out so them. we could mm -hmm. see and smell the beans. It was really sweet. Yeah. Um. It was it was very very nice so yeah it was fun. <laughs> Jace books is odd, but also it's in the evening. Only half the table participated in the coffee. I had a small sip, and someone else finished the rest of mine. Yeah, there were nine of us there, and four of us that had a coffee, just a tiny coffee. Jazz and I split. That's what it was. Okay. So yeah. five of us. Ish. Yeah. Anyway, um, yeah, that was yesterday, and that was great. And then um, there's some other stuff too, but let me let me read some of these because um, th I need to read these. We got uh, 46 months from Akira Dre. We got 48 months from Summer Essentia. Haley's having her leftovers. Congrats this on the morning. four. Yeah, Haley was the only one that had leftovers, and I'm kind of jealous of that <sighs> because too. I would love to have eaten it again. Me and Haley got the same meal, mm -hmm. but, um, and this is going to come as a surprise. I'm actually larger than Haley. I know. And I ate all of mine. <laughs> um, yeah. I ate all of mine up. So it's, it's gone. Yeah. <laughs> a toothsome twist on a classic snack. Tiny Eddie's Oily and Cherry Arrogant Pastries. 
It's a bit some shadow play. It says, uh, Tiny Eddie, it's my birthday today. I'm now 21. Give me an interesting snack. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. A good snack when you turn 21 is oily and cherry arrogant pastries. Is the oil... oil, oil cherry oil. I was going to say some... It's got to be alcoholic. It's 21. O oil alcohol. I do like cherry pastries, though. Okay. <laughs> Sorry, the way you said that was like, uh-huh. <laughs> like, shut up. <laughs> Listen. Is that how you intended for that to come No. Across? Okay. I woke up with an ice pick headache. I need I'm a sorry. I need this, but it's too hot. <laughs> Me, genuine excitement over a baked good. I really like cherry pastries. Okay. <laughs> anyway, we had cake last night. We, yeah, we still have cake. What, um, what, what flavor was in the cake? Raspberry. Okay. It's a very good cake. It's a it's a cake that Mao has had before. Um, <laughs> I like I like cheetah cherry. Um, it's a cake that we've had before uh, from Publix. Actually, probably more than once. It's your it's it is your. It's the elegance cake. It's the, is what they call it. White chocolate raspberry elegance cake, something yeah. like that. <laughs> Um, and it has cream cheese icing. Yeah, it's very good. And that's like Mal's favorite store-bought cake. Yeah. And that's what she wanted, so that's what we got. And it was good. But it wasn't cherry. No. We got 15 months from Rays of Sunshine, 53 from Gonzo Tinkerman, 44 from Maya the Siren 182, 41 from Devstet, 65 from Jayazak, 26 from Sage of Stars. We got uh We're gonna we're gonna call it twelve hundred bits. Twelve hundred bits from Aldo with the Mal makes grape Great. Star Rain. Yeah. Aldo first wrote Mal Makes, which unfortunately is not your prefix. If we can get you to partner. Yeah. If we can get you to partner, then we'll change it. Ideally to like Mal. I don't know if Mal is taken, but that'd probably be the, is. That'd be the ideal thing. We'll see. Uh, we got 49 months from Shadowlands. 66 months from Meredith 3K. 14 from Pastry Bear Plays. 64 from I Spy Moose. 42 months from Tiger Tiger. We got 300 bits of Squid. It says, speaking on large groups at restaurants, we were at Five Guys one Sunday, and a really large after church group was coming in, and one lady waited near a couple tables. Uh, people were still at to push them together after they left, including us. Oh. That's kind of wild. Yeah. It is hard when you have a big group without like a, a plan and then you're like trying to create a thing. Here's, here, here's the secret tip for anyone going to like, I don't know, PAX or a convention and you have like a big group of people. Um, don't sit together. Can't get subs. Food courts tend to be good if you have a big group. We'll do that sometimes. That's also a really good. It's also a really good one. Just don't sit together. Just don't. You go to a restaurant and there's 12 of you, sit in three different booths. <laughs> Yeah, Griselda says, it's true. You can sit at multiple tables and still have a good time. Yeah. The other thing is that you can't realistically talk to 11 other people anyway. Yeah. So, just, just don't. Just don't. Can't it's, my, it's my advice. We do that here in Raleigh sometimes. Yeah. Like, if we go out and there's like seven or eight of us, like, we'll just go up and be like, we have eight people, but like, split us split up. Split us up. Because if you don't, you might have to sit there and wait for like an hour. But if you're willing to be split up, they'll sit you in like 10 minutes. 
Uh, we had 10 gift subs from Not Dragon 23 to Melissa Hyrule, uh, Vest Digital Media, the Bay XLR, a Wojanator, II Smiter, Re Rejects Carry, Luma Lumos Quincy, the Cactus, the Cactus Say, Gherkinoff, and KA Gamer Kyle. Not Dragon, thank you. Appreciate the. 10 give subs this one. Hmm. <laughs> 52 months from Joltron, Luna Gazer gifted to sub to Silent Companion, 66 months from Satsy, and 420 bits from Sloppy Joe. You know, it's almost 420. That's my grandma's birthday. 420 is um, multiple things to multiple people. But the most important thing is that I mean aside from it's your grandma's birthday is the fact that it's uh, the birthday of Mother 3 it's Mother 3's birthday <laughs> Grandmother 3 uh, but I'm realizing I haven't I haven't announced this and I need to announce this because I will forget uh huh um the next day, right? That's the next day. Mm -hmm. Yes, the, that next is the next day. day. The next day, four twenty-one. Come here, buddy. Which is Sunday. We're doing a special stream. This is actually well timed that you're showing up, buddy. Come here. Come here. Come here, son. <laughs> He's like, I gotta walk over here. Let's walk around the table. You're taking the longest distance you can. Come here. Come here, bud. There we go. I don't know why we went the long way, but okay. Come here for a sec. Come here. Okay. Come here. Sunday at 2 p.m. Eastern, we're doing a special stream. Uh, come here, buddy. We're doing a we're doing a special Kepler slash Cats stream on Sunday. Um, I am so grateful that this boy is still here. Um, that has been wonderful, and we're continuing to work at that. Uh, that being said, just being honest, it has been uh, wildly expensive to keep the boy here. So we're doing a bonus stream in hopes to offset some of those costs, and we're going to play the most appropriate game that we can possibly think of. More appropriate than Steven even knew. I mentioned, I mentioned, I brought this up on, on disc only, and John was like, oh, cat lateral damage, and I was like, no. This game. This is Sukeban Shachao Reina, and uh, this is a Japanese game that was released for the Wii. It is one of the worst selling games of all time. Reportedly in its first week of release in Japan, it sold 100 copies. Um, it's, uh... Apparently not super great. However, the game is about working for a CEO who is a cat. And as we all know, the CEO of our company is Kepler. So I thought that was really appropriate. Also, the cat the, looks like, like a... looks like Kepler. Mm -hmm. So, um, yeah, that's that's what we're that's what we're playing. <laughs> I thought it was Jets. It's, Chaz has too much power already. Chaz doesn't need additional power. So, um, yeah. It, it's it's going to be like a normal stream. Yeah. Um, so come on out Sunday afternoon at 2 p.m. And we'll be playing this really wild Japanese game. But um, all of it's going to be going towards, you know, helping to offset costs of uh, Kep's in increasingly expensive lifestyle. I have good news about Kep, though. Um, this is pretty good. This is pretty excellent news. Um, on Tuesday, he went to the vet. He had to go back to the vet, right? Because last week, um, he went to the vet, and they needed to draw blood, and they couldn't. Because he was fighting them. Because he was, he was wiggly. So on Tuesday, we took him back to the vet to get his blood drawn. They drew it, and then on Wednesday we got the results, because we're trying to find out if his kidneys were okay. 
he's been given a lot of medicine, and that can be problematic for cats because it harms their kidneys. And his kidney values are normal. And that's awesome, because that means that he is handling the medicine, and it means that we can, you know, if we need to, um, increase the medicine. So, good. That part is really good. So, yeah. <laughs> 300 bits from Satsu says, increasingly expensive. He's just trying to be alive, dude. And I'm just trying to be honest. <laughs> I want him to be alive. Um, so we are, we are facilitating that at every possible turn. Um, but yeah, it's uh, it's been, it's certainly been a journey. Um, he'll be going to the cardiologist next week and we're just gonna continue to do all the things. Right? We're doing them. But yeah, um, like I've talked about before, he's got two major issues. Uh, the one that everyone thinks about, which is heart, and of course, bowels. And the bowels were just kind of... The gastro. We're kind of living on a prayer there, because we don't have a lot of solutions. But the heart stuff, we can try and manage, and it sounds like that stuff's um, working. So, that's good. That's good. That's like an objectively good thing that that's happening. So, yeah. We still are monitoring him. We increased his dosage for his diuretic, which I think was helpful. And also knowing that his kidney values are normal is good because that means that we can increase the dosage. We're gonna keep watching him for the next week. Let's check on his breathing because that's the thing that we're most concerned with. And if his breathing is normal, then we'll keep him at this dosage, and if it's still a little labored, then we'll increase the dosage a little bit more. So work in progress. It's only it's only been two weeks. Mm-hmm. Wild. Wild. Uh, Wise Mamir says, how old is Kepi? Kepler will be 12 bird. next month. He is, he's, he's almost made it to his 12th birthday. It's like near the end of May. I thought he was. Yeah, well, yeah, he's May. Sagan was June. Sagan was June, uh -huh. and Kepler was born two weeks earlier. So uh -huh. he's like mid to late May. How we doing? He doing just fine. He doing pretty good. Yeah. We had five hundred bits from Safarina. Says kitty cardiologists are not cheap. Throwing my bits into the Kepler medical account. Well, I appreciate it. Thank you. Um, he has been to the cardiologist before because he has to occasionally get echoes to see how he's doing. And, um, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, but, you know, it's, it's one of those things that, like, having him here is, um, to some extent, like, a priceless thing. Like, you can't replace that. And um, I'm just grateful that he's he's here. For whatever time we're gonna get. Yeah. And like, I'm crossing my fingers for a long time, but I'm also trying to be realistic. Yeah. He's a great cat. Coffee. He's a great, great cat. Yeah. Good boy. Good boy. I says, many enjoy the lifestyle of being alive. It's true. It's true. I'm just glad he's still here with us. Like my every my my goalpost keeps moving a little bit, right? Because my goalpost was like, oh god, please come home from the hospital, and then oh god, please let Mal get home, mm -hmm. and now it's. Now, let's get to that cardiology appointment. Yeah, it's been like, let's get to the vet appointment. Okay, let's get to the other vet appointment. Okay, let's get to the cardiologist appointment. And, um, you know, as we do, there's, like, more and more it information. Hasn't been, there's been more information, and there has been good news, but there have been times where we've been very worried. 
and not just with the ER stuff, like since the ER stuff. Yeah. There's been some things brought up by the vet, like, well, there is this that we've been kind of like, oh. Like the gastro stuff, like Steven said, we're kind of just hoping there because there's not really another treatment option for that. Yeah. And Especially I, given his heart right now. Yeah, and I talked about it on Tuesday, yeah. but, it, you know, I just... I have to keep people's expectations in check because we've, you know, we had a lot of people that are like, oh, don't worry, my cat lived mm -hmm. three years with, you know, con congestive heart failure. And I'm like, okay, that that is not the big concern. Um, I, think, I, I think that we can probably keep his heart stuff managed. It's just um, he's going to have some some tummy troubles, I'm sure. But it's not impossible for that to just stay mm -hmm. <laughs> out of the way so that's what I'm hoping for as much as we can possibly hope for okay, but god he's still so such a st stinking loving cat like mm -hmm. he just he's a sweet boy he, he jumped up on the bed this morning and was like curled up next to me yeah he was hanging out with Jeff last night. Yeah, Jeff was giving him lots of attention when we, we came home and had cake. So, the most important thing, and I, I know I've said it before, but like, is that Kep doesn't have pain or anything. Yeah. Um, the quality of his life is still good. He has to get more pills, which he's not the biggest fan of, but otherwise, like, he's not living in any sort of like pain or discomfort or anything. It's just a matter of keeping him you know, regulated with medication and stuff, so. Yeah. He's a good one. And his his fur that they had to shave for the, the ER is starting to grow back. Yeah. Your fur grows pretty quick. Anyway. Uh, we also had 200 bits from Lixer. Thank you. Appreciate it. Uh, okay. So that's happening Sunday. So that, yeah, I was like... Right now. Yeah, I was like, what is that? Yeah, okay, so yeah, the Tuesday, Tuesday after, or not Tuesday afternoon, Tuesday after, Sunday, Sunday afternoon. Sunday afternoon. <laughs> Sunday afternoon, 2 p.m., playing that game. I went ahead and tested it, um, and it, it works. You have to do, you have to jump through a special hoop to get Japanese games to play on the North American Wii U. Um, Haley says, do you need any props? I don't think so. I mean... I think it would be fun to wear cat ears, but we could order some. I mean, you just spoke it into existence, so Haley is like... Haley, you want to make them, or should I just order some? We, uh, yeah, we could certainly just, like... Depends on what I have? Okay. That could be cute. But yeah, we could get something. Alright, anyway, that's... That's Sunday. I also want to let you know that I am streaming today, and I'm actually streaming, um, because I didn't get to do a game stream Tuesday or Wednesday. I'm streaming today, and I'm starting earlier than I normally do, so you probably saw it in the go live message if you got the notification on your, your phone. Um, but I'm going to be streaming 11-ish um, today, so basically an hour or so after breakfast stream, which is a little early, um, about two hours earlier than I normally do it. And there's a little there's a little wiggle room there because um, I need to eat and sometimes my my body's like what if you went to the the bathroom so around there um, but uh, as you know I recently did a poll on on Stephen plays for like another thing to to do um, it's pretty close between Metroid and the Souls series and um, I'm gonna be starting that next week. And so today I wanted to do something that I could finish in a single sitting. So if you tune in today for the game stream, it's gonna be like start to finish a game, which means it won't be Xena Gears. So we're gonna have a one-off today. And the cool thing is I've got three different games picked out and when you show up to the game stream at 11-ish o'clock, um, I'm gonna let y'all vote. So you can just vote, and we will just choose live which of the three games we're playing. They're all about the same length, so you can uh, choose. Yeah. 
We did that before. Like, we did that for um, a stream a few months ago, and I, uh, we played Gato Roboto, which was very, very fun. Um, but today, there's, there's three games you can choose from. Yeah. I don't know if I should tell them the games or make them come to the other stream. Not sure. Someone asked how I feel about Slay the Spire 2. Excited. Because I really liked the first one. A lot. I know you did. I really want you to like play it sometime when you when you when you can. Oh wow, the Soul Souls is only three percent behind Metroid. Goodness gracious. I wanted you to play Subnautica. Well, the, I don't want anyone, <laughs> Haley. I don't want anyone to think that you don't want to play it. You do want to play it. That's why you put them all on there. Yeah, like, I think all of those games are good choices, and the other thing is I don't think that a game losing the poll yeah. is like, oh, oh well, we'll never play it. Like, no. No. Subnautica is... So is Xenogears on the table? I'll tell you what. Huh. Against my better judgment. I'll tell you what. If Haley and I finish Super Mario RPG... We'll talk. We'll talk. I'm going go out of town. <laughs> I was just talking to Carly today, this morning, about something. Me, me, and, me and Haley only play Mario RPG. For a month? Okay. Where should I go? Japan? I'll go. It's going to take longer than that. We are, we're only three episodes deep, or three streams deep into um, Gosh, Mario RPG. Haley says I can go to Japan. You would, like... <laughs> yeah, Brent says, good job. That was almost a promise, and that's not allowed. That's why I said we'll talk. We'll talk. Yeah. Mar How long can she live on the Shinkansen? Mar Mario RPG, I'm going to assume, probably has six or seven more streams. Oh, so two months I can go. How long is the visa? 90 days? Oh, my God. That's all I'm saying is that, like, currently, the rate at which Haley and I play the game is, like, once every three months. Yeah. So I do want to set the expectation that at the current rate, Haley and I will finish Super Mario RPG at the end of 2026. Maybe mid-2026. Like, it's, it's, you know, it's a, it's a, it's a work in progress. Leave. Digital Nomad Visa Japan's doing for six months? I could just go over there and, like, paint. MCL Blue says, which one will finish first, Mario RPG or Tears of the Kingdom? Definitely Tears of the Kingdom. Definitely. Anyway, at some point, we'll... We'll, we'll get to it. But yeah, once we finish Mario RPG, we'll, we'll talk. Actually, hmm. Actually, though. There's another game that Haley and I have talked about playing together that is not Xenogears. Uh, she probably knows what I'm talking about. Um, so, like, there's a few things. Give me the bird! But we only, we only play games, like, once every three months, so... Haley only knows Xenogears. It's not the only game you know. It is, it is in fact, Snail Fantasy. We had 500 bits from Shire says, Chad is hereby enforcing a mandatory summer vacation for Mao. I mean, you wind up in places sometimes. <laughs> what? Like, you wind up going back to Wisconsin or whatever. Okay. Um, yeah. What's what's interesting is that like Mao and I had had a conversation, I don't know, t two months ago or something about how like in the future, because there's been quite a few times Mao's been back to Wisconsin. I was like, you know, in the future, I was like, I want to, I, I haven't been back there. I want to go back and make sure I see your family and stuff because mm -hmm. it's it's been a while. And we were like, yeah, that would be nice. 
and like there was a wedding coming up in the family like later this year and I was like I want to you know I want to do that and then uh, this happened to Kepler and I'm like okay so one of us has to always be home <laughs> so never mind it's fine so uh, yeah I, maybe there will be more Mario RPG streams Good morning, Sab. Morning, Sab. Good morning. Also had 51 months from Night Owl. Thank you, Night Owl. So, yeah. In 90 to 120 minutes-ish, I'll be playing a game that y'all get to vote on. That's exciting. And then Sunday, 2 p.m. Eastern, we're playing the, the really bad cat game. Which apparently has increased in value a lot since we got it. Yeah. Because, Wildly. Like, it's a very expensive video game now. Um, neat. Uh, I yeah. got it complete, right? Yeah. Can yeah. I see it? Yeah. Coffee! Yeah, it's expensive now. Uh, yes, Haley, we would. See, there's cat ears on the cover, and they're solid black. And, like, I can find those on Amazon. But... <laughs> you do not have to. Raider says, there's a listing on eBay where the price is around 1300 What do the sold listings say? Yeah, what is, say? what is it sold for? Yeah, I always... If I'm looking at listings on eBay, I always look at sold listings and then kind of... I'll look at sold and then look at the complete ones that sold and then kind of do like an average in my head of, of things, which gives me a much more accurate. Oh, Club Nintendo points. Yeah, that's long, long dead. There's right now. See, like. She's a white cat. And there's like tabby spots. Yeah. So. Thomas says there are like no sold listings. <laughs> Neat. I remember when Mao found out about this game. Yes. She immediately was like, I want this game. I need this game. And I was like, okay. And uh, there was some on eBay, but they were they were expensive. And Mao's like, I'm going to hold out and figure something out. And then you ended up getting it on... I went through a... Um, like a the Buy E. Yeah, the, the companies that will like, purchase things yeah. on your behalf on like a Japanese auction yeah. site. So... Um, That's what I went through. Because I had to go... Sometimes I find when you use those sites that they don't find what you're looking for. Yeah. And I don't know if it's typing it in English letters or if I need to, like, get the Japanese script. Yeah. Um, I'm not always sure because sometimes it won't find it. So if I go find, like, the auction listing on, like, Yahoo Auctions Japan, that'll get it for me. Yeah. I don't know what you paid for it, but I think... Less than $200. Yeah, I think it was like 150 Yeah. or something. That, I went and looked the other day, it was about 150 So that's pretty good, especially since the, you know, it's got more expensive. Could you send me a pic of the back of Cap's ears? Sure. Um, someone asked if you'd seen a copy in Japan. Didn't you see one copy? I did. It was wild. I went into um, the Mandrake store, Mandakare. Mandarake. Mandarake. And uh, the, the, first off, that's a great store. Like if you're looking for video games in um, Akihabara, like go there. Yeah, grab it's... the back of his head, <laughs> or here. here. Let me let me get this guy. There we go. Let me send that off to Haley. Um, anyway, that was where uh, Haley found um, UFO, and also they had a copy of Reina in there. And it was like, I want to say 40,000 yen, um, which given the current listings, given the like, yeah, but I was going to say, but also with like with the strength of the yen is like pretty reasonable mm -hmm. when you compare it to eBay auctions that are like $1,300. So yeah, that's like 250 bucks. But also just everything in store was way cheaper than any auction sites, so. <laughs> Cat ear text? I just I could just give you a, a better photo of, of the boy. Let me Oh I took this one this to... morning in the sunroom. Oh did you? Mm-hmm. Well, send him that. 
Was he? He was in the center this morning. Yeah. We haven't been up that long. He was just. Uh, he walked in there to look at me. Oh, I see. Good guy. Joltron gifted a sub to Sab Irene. Um. <laughs> We had three hundred bits of night out. Says happy almost two hundred thousand subs on Stephen Place. Thank you. We are very close. We are very close. Um, I don't know how close, but it's with it's a hundred, maybe something. I don't know. Stephen Place gained subs at very wild rates. 190, okay, so we're less than 200 subs away. That's exciting. If someone here is somehow not subscribed to Steven Plays, you could do it. Um, usually, like, the sub rate will be very low uh, because we are a... <laughs> we're an old-school Let's Play channel, which is not uh, the, the most algorithmically friendly channel on the internet. But every once in a while, Juliet will release a short that goes wild and then we gain like a bunch of subscribers. Haley says, I unsubbed. <laughs> Instructions unclear. Further away from goal than before. There's the boy in the center. Him. You can see his hooked tail in the shadow. That's how he carries his tail. Mm-hmm. He has hooked tail. Yeah. Some some it's it's a genetic thing. Like some cats, their tail cannot do that. Mm -hmm. Like it's like Sagan's could not do that. Like his, the structure of his his spine of his his tail like was straight. Yeah. But Kepler's Kep is different, so it'll hook. Yeah. So there's a really good website someone put together on cat genetics, like with coat color and eye color and even like the tail like that. Mm -hmm. It's really fascinating. Yeah. So, if you if you have a cat whose uh, tail hooks, that's not all cats. If if Kepler has his hooked like that, because he doesn't always carry it that way, but if you pet him right on the spine and then kind of like curve up the tail, he'll hook it even more to the point where the tip of his tail will touch his spine. Like I'm not pulling it. Like I'm petting the inside of it, and he's like stretching it almost. He could. It's like it's almost like a teacup. Yeah. Help pet your spine. We also had 67 months from Skitska. Thank you. Um, yeah. I think I mentioned all the things that, like, were pressing. Sounds right. And then today's Thursday, so tomorrow night we'll be doing Zelda again. Yeah. We're, like, slowly in the process of uh, finishing Tears of the Kingdom. It's happening. It's not like the fastest thing, but we're we're getting through it. So I finished my painting on Monday. That's right. Uh huh. That's right. Mm -hmm. Um. Yeah, w that painting is beautiful, and the one before it, which is like really big, is also gorgeous. And um, we we don't have those up in the Redbubble store yet, but we will be aiming to do that for Tuesday. For yeah, for Tuesday. I'm going to be streaming Tuesday at 1. Yeah. You told them what you're doing, right? Sort of. I can tell them now. You can tell them. It's fine. I'm going to do a gardening stream. The weather is supposed to be nice last time I checked. I do have a backup if it's not. Yeah. I have to plant the garden for the summer. It's, uh... If you, if you give a little thought to the fact that we're doing a gardening stream, you may think, hmm, that sounds like one unit of effort, which it is, because, um... Tell him a and asking the important question, how is Steven setting that up? Yeah. <laughs> when will it be? This will yeah. be the moon slot time on my channel. So, 1 p.m. Eastern on Tuesday. Yeah, so instead of uh, going into a... Um, another game? Another video game, uh, Mao is streaming. Mm -hmm. Mao might be taking that slot. Maybe. 
as a possibility. We'll see. But for this coming um, Tuesday, she she is. She's going to be doing the gardening stream. And obviously, I'm going to be there because it's going to be a whole thing. I might need Chaz physically here. I haven't told him that. <laughs> hey, Chaz. Um, but the amount of... The amount of production necessary is kind of a a, a pain. Um, so, Chill Day says, you do know that not every stream has to be cinema quality, right? It's not even that. It's that, like, the internet is in the house and the garden is not. Like, that, that alone complicates things. So I need. So one of the things I need to test before Tuesday is um, can I have my laptop outside and it still get the internet juice? And then the other problem I have is it is going to be warm. What's the Raleigh weather? I think I think that we had looked before and that day was set for like 69. Also, 72. Nice. 72. Mm -hmm. And like, you know, even having a, a laptop outside in 72 degree weather um, for an hour, like, it needs to, it's probably gonna need, like, an umbrella or something, because it's gonna get you warm. You stand there with an umbrella? No, like, it, that's, the, it, like I said, it, I have got some things to figure out, because it's kind of, kind of a pain. Just as if only we had a C stand. Where would we get a C stand? It's a shame that, uh, the cathedral doesn't have a flat ground. You could have put yeah. like a table in there. Anyway, so I've got I've got some options. If the internet won't reach, I can run a cable out the window. That's a real thing that I might do. The other thing that I could consider doing, maybe, is I might be able to keep the laptop in the sunroom. Yeah, that um, was a thought I had too. I need to test that. Um, if I keep the laptop in the sunroom, then what I have to do in order to make that work, and it really requires some testing, is um, I have a wireless HDMI system, right? So I would run, I would, I would use the camera with a wireless <laughs> HDMI system. <laughs> the wireless HDMI system up to the sunroom, and then that would probably work. Do we have any photos of the cathedral? Does anyone... <laughs> We've never shown it, really, have we? So this is... You're, you're trying to figure out garden streams. Yeah, I mean, it's... It would be very easy to just be like, phone, but yeah. like, you I'm, you know I can't do that. Like, I'm incapable. I'm not gonna do that. Like, people are gonna have wireless labs, and I'm going to be using a cinema camera, and I'm going to possibly be doing wireless HDMI to the thing so I can walk around without a cable. I just, you know. It's fun. It's a thing that I enjoy doing. It's a little stressful until I get it set up, but it's, you know, it's a thing that I like. So. <laughs> I like doing it, so I figure it out. <laughs> It's like a, it's like a fun puzzle. Yeah, we have um, we have a cathedral. I guess we've never shown it on the vlog. No, we haven't. I don't think we have. Yeah. Um. It is cool in there, cause I was just in there. Well, yeah, it's cool. Yeah. Have we never talked about the cathedral? Or called it that? I guess we've never. Huh. We have a basement, kind of. It's a crawl space. It's a crawl space. It's not a, a basement. I think it's only a basement if it connects from the inside of the house. That's a basement. Yeah. This is a crawl space. Imagine a crawl space, but it's instead of a, of a crawl space, it's um, like twelve feet tall. Yeah. Um. That's we have that we have that. So it's it's kind of an on the interesting... one end it's only like three feet tall, but the other end is like thirteen feet. Yeah, it's it. So we call it the cathedral because it feels like you're walking into a cathedral. Yeah, it's it's it has some cathedral feels. Does it have electricity and such, or just exist? It has one light bulb. 
yeah. one, and it does nothing because it's right by the door, and when you open said door, you're getting daylight, and the daylight is way brighter than the single light bulb. Yeah. Do you make the chicken drugs in the cathedral? No, we asked Father Jim Binion to move out a few <laughs> weeks ago. He's gone. Um, yeah, it's an interesting space. Um, this house sits on a hill. Yeah, because it's on a hill, that's why the space is that large. Um, but we don't we don't have anything stored in there. No, the tomato cages are in there. Oh, okay. I've also never went in it. You've never, like, hopped down in it? I've, like, peeked my head in there. Okay, I've been in it. But it's, like, the size of the house. It's the same footprint as the house, yeah. And it's real big. I don't know why it isn't a basement. I suppose, like, money when it was built. It's Some people... a little frightening, to be honest. Like, yeah. you could shoot a horror movie in that yeah. space immediately. I can button... Thomas says, I've crawled all around in there. Are you there now, Thomas? Renee, I'm ready to watch this movie. <laughs> Maybe. I, 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 do, I do plan on doing a, um, a bumper for Kahlo. Um, however, I don't... I'm just going to be honest with people that are not expecting too much of me. Um, I don't... I don't know that I'll be doing like a narrative bumper. I, 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 I don't know that I have the time or mental bandwidth for that, but I would like to do another trivia bumper because I feel like that's a way that I can try and contribute. It's like a mini segment. It is, because mm -hmm. the, the one from last year raised a few thousand dollars, and I was like, that's awesome. So uh, I've actually been working on some trivia, like writing down some things that I think that are interesting as well as hard <laughs> so um that's the thing that i'd like to have produced in time for the uh the event so that's a good point dylan thank you let me make a note about making sure that that ends up at coliseum swift says will you be calling in at any point like if they do disc only live um here at George Corp, we make no, <laughs> we make no promises about anything ever again. Um, but it's it's certainly possible. Yeah, I might, I I might. Uh, it's a thing that could happen, basically. So, Kahlo is first week of May. I'm setting this up, uh, and I'm putting it here. Sure. That's fine. Alternatively, not. And like, it doesn't, yeah. I don't think it matters either. Yeah. Uh, yeah, it's in, yeah, it's in like two weeks or something, which is kind of wild. It's just coming fast. It's coming fast. Rearwood Drake says, speaking of form promises, did you find it funny how you edited so much of the 2018 vlogs in unique ways? It's that was a takeaway you said to me when we were watching it. You were like, "Wow, I had, this I had, is edited very different than I do now." I had two. I had two takeaways. Mm -hmm. No, I didn't. I had three. I had three takeaways from watching Fan Favorites 2018. There were three things that were very different. Um, one was that there was there was a lot of, and like it's not entirely fair because Fan Favorites is obviously going to pull all of those moments out. Yeah. Like if you're looking at 2018 as a whole. To be like, it's all edited crazy. Like, it's not. It's just 28... Yeah. The fan favorites is when people are going to be like, oh, well, that was a thing. And the, all those stuff gets pushed together. Because, like, when we get 2023 fan favorites, there's going to be a lot of that stuff in there, too. Yeah. Um, but I do think that there was a little bit more. There was a little bit more in 2018. Um, so that was one takeaway. That was one takeaway. Another takeaway is that the camera sucked. Like, so bad. It... I am blown away by the fact that so much of fan favorites is like the background in focus and the foreground is not. Camera just was like, no, what autofocus? I don't know what that is. I choose not to. 
okay, um, so that was strange. And then the third thing is that, uh, and this is something that I noticed, and then this is something that Brandon noticed, and I had brought it up, and he's like, I also thought that, is that the, um, I don't know how to express this correctly, the, like, the energy level or something? Oh, is, I thought it was the equipment thing. Anyway, yeah. Like, the energy level is is different in a way that, like, I'm clearly younger is what I, is, I think that's what I'm getting at, is I'm clearly younger. And watching it at my current age, I, I, I'm, I'm watching it and I'm like, Calm down, Steven. Like I'm, I'm watching it, and I'm just like, stop. What are you like? <laughs> that's the best way I can describe it. Is I, I, when I was watching it, I was like, Jesus, just slow down, man. And I know that that's just a lot of that's just age. Is like now I'm slowing down. <laughs> Thomas says, I thought I was a bit much, but you! Yeah, there was, um, in 2018, I was, uh, I was 29 years old. So, I, there was, there was some, like, energy, you know? Mm -hmm. And, uh, and I'm, it, I don't know, that's a fun thing, because that's something that's hard to recognize, Unless you're looking at something like fan favorites, which is a which is giving you good, a snapshot, a snapshot yeah. of an entire year, and I think it's something I wouldn't have noticed unless we were six years behind on that, so I could compare it to how I am now. Because if that would have come out in 2019, we would have we wouldn't have noticed that. But watching it now, I'm like, whoa, bud, just like, just chill, <laughs> just get some get some more sleep. Because that's one of the problems in 2018 is that it was just like, well, we got we we only got two hours of sleep because we got we got a lot of work to do, and then we got, we got to get up and got to do this other thing. Yeah. Jess says, we thought at the time you should chill when you had the VR bloodlust. I, you know, I haven't been allowed to play that in six years. When where would you have played it? I know. I, I think Alex is the one that brought it. Gotta have someone else bring it over so I can... Did they make a sequel to that game? I wanna... Play that. Perfect. Chaz, I can go over to your house anytime I need the... The bloodlust. <laughs> we had 300 bits from Jace Books says, Hi, I heard trivia. You could do some 3DS trivia if you wanted. I am doing, um... I, I, I'm doing a, I am doing a particular console, but it is not 3DS. It's not GameCube either, because I did GameCube. I'm working on something else. You'll find out. You'll find out at the event. out behind that curtain lately. It's too bright in here for Cappy. That is new. That's new behavior. <laughs> Chess. Excited for virtual boy trivia. You could do trivia on Virtual Boy and just do like one question for each game. Then it would only be like 13 questions or whatever. <laughs> That's it. When are we going to get more Virtual Boy games? When are those coming? Because you know how like people are, you know, in present day are, they're manufacturing and making like their own Game Boy games yeah. and things. Like I don't think then that's never happened for Virtual Boy. I'm kind of wondering if the development process for Virtual Boy is just a pain. Possibly. They've done NES, Game Boy, Super NES, um, N64, Dreamcast. I ain't never seen anything for Virtual Boy. Anyway. Oh, speaking of playing games in places, uh, I'm just throwing this out there because I, I think it's some something that people may not know about and I want them to know is that uh, since the inception of the App Store um, Apple has had a pretty firm policy that there could not be any emulators on the App Store and they just changed that policy 
And as a result, there's a emulator called Delta that has been in development for a long time um, because of, you know, like running it on jailbroken iPhones or whatever. So like it's been out and like updated and is good. And now that Apple's like, actually, you can do it. Um, now that's on there, it's free, and it is like a good one, and it plays... It is a good. It is a good, and it run, it's several systems, so, um, I know for anyone that's, that has an Android phone, they're like, why does this matter? For everyone with an iPhone <laughs> that doesn't have it jailbroken or, or whatever, um, it's a, suddenly a big deal. So, um, if you're like, oh man, I want to play, uh, insert homebrew game here <laughs> then uh, go for it so you can search the app store for Delta emulator and it should come up uh, we had 300 bits from Night Owl says wanted to tell you guys too Little Kitty Big City is releasing on May 9th and I feel you guys would really enjoy it it's like Stray meets Untitled Goose Game I've, I've seen footage of that have you seen that? no you should okay because it is. It's like Stray. Because you know how Stray, the tone of Stray is very, like, kind of depressing? Yeah. Uh, this is like, what if Stray were happy? Okay. <laughs> Stray's great. Yeah. I like Stray, but, um, you know, it's taking place in, like, the slums of a robot village uh and it's it's a great game but it's it's not it i wouldn't call it upbeat so yeah i'm looking forward to that another game that comes out uh relatively soon is um the new endless ocean yes and uh we'll talk about that when it gets closer because that's something i'm looking at. Was that your elbow? Ah! Yeah. Sorry, it does that. Does this one? No. Just this one. And only once. <laughs> it's just one. Then it like, it's like a, it's got to reload. There's like a cooldown. Anyway, um, I'm going to go ahead and wrap up here because uh, I need a little time to eat and get ready for stream. As a reminder, in about an hour, maybe an hour and some change, I'm going to be live here again, uh, except in in the office. And uh, I've got three games picked out. They're all about three hours or so. And I'm going to let chat vote on what game we play, and then we're going to play the whole thing. And they are all... They're all, they're all good games. They are, they're pretty different games. They're, they're, they're all pretty different games, but they're all like fun. I'm excited about it. I really, I really like being able to, to beat a game in a single sitting. I think that there yeah. should be more short games. Um, unfortunately, or fortunately, we've played almost all of the critically acclaimed short games. If you Google that, it's like, well, have you played Portal? And I'm like, yeah. What about Edith Finch? Yeah. Have you played Firewatch? Yes. Inside? Have you played Inside? What about Limbo? Yeah, we, we played those. Oh, okay. Have you heard of To the Moon? Yeah. <laughs> it's like, it's like, there's like 15 games and like, we've, we've played all of these. Yeah, Journey. Journey is always on there. That's a good point, Thomas. Is it? Are you going to be the one who shouts at the controller? No, I'm not. Abzu's on there? Yeah. 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 Anyway, alright. Uh, thanks for being here. Uh, I wish I had more vlogs to give you, but I, I don't because I've been so focused on... Um, so many other things. Uh, it's it is it's really unfortunate. This week and next week are very busy with. Um, I mean, there's work there's, and like fun stuff. Well, also like actual like yeah. uh, non non fun non work stuff like 
Kepler's cardiology appointment. Yeah, and like we we had I to, have an allergy appointment. We went to the optometrist yesterday. Uh -huh. So like there's all of these adulting things. Yep. And it's kind of a it's kind of a pain. <laughs> it's like I understand I need to do them, but it's mm -hmm. kind of a pain because I have there's like uh, stuff to do. I'm st I still have a lot of vlogs to get out. And I, I am invested in trying to, like, be caught up, so, um... Did I tell you mine didn't change? I'm still the same. Same. Same prescription. I ran out of, uh... Contacts. contacts. I don't think I've bought contacts in, like, two years? I last bought some when we moved to North Carolina. And I finally ran out, and I was like, I gotta d d get some more of those, so... I'll do that soon. Okay, that's it. Uh, thank you all so much for being here. We will see you at... In an hour-ish. Yeah, an, an hour-ish. Come on back here in an hour-ish uh, so you can vote on a video game. We've got, we've got three good ones. You can choose. It'll be fun. All right, bye.